Hey guys, what's going on? It's Jim here. Today, we're going to be playing one of the, my favorite games of Minecraft mod, Agrarian Skies 2. Now, if you've ever played Agrarian Skies, you'll know that it is a hardcore-based game um, based on survivability. Um, this is the second version, which Jaded Cat brought out. It's um, a little bit harder, and... The uh, starting area is a little bit smaller than it was in the first one. But um, let's not squander on how big it is. Uh, we can always make it bigger. So let's go ahead and start off um, using our quest book, which we have to do HQM space quest. That's not how you spell it. And now the questing mode of the... Uh, Skyblock has now been uh, activated, so now we can go into it. I won't bother reading all that. Uh, this is the new quest panel. Um, it also gives you reputation for different things, um, different parties, so light, dark, um, etc. Your lives. Um, at the moment, we have hardcore mode is off, um, which means we have infinite lives but we'll uh, eventually change that. Um, you can also add people to a party. We don't have anyone because we have no friends, so forever alone. Um, okay, so this is the questing part. Let's go into the first tier, which is first steps. Um, you'll notice that it looks a little different um, in the starting off period. So you start off trying to make the oak wood. Um, the rewards are a bit better off and every time you complete one of the quests you also get um, a bit of reputation um, I'm not sure exactly what this is used for at the moment but I'm um, hopefully we'll get to it shortly right so we've got to make one oak wood block so we'll get an oak sapling and put that down um, before I do anything, I might put a lot of this back in the chest. I just don't want to fall off and lose everything, because then I'll have to, like, jump out the window. Hang on, I need some of that. Right. Okay, so we have our bone meal, and we'll just grow this tree out, and luckily I'm holding shift, or I wouldn't be, already, I wouldn't be here at the moment. All the way around. Now normally for these you'd make a crook which we'll get to in a few minutes um, but at the moment let's just get this quest done just so we can progress a little bit quicker. Okay right, the inventory, okay so now we're gonna make a wooden plank, just pop one in there, make that. You'll notice that I'm not um, doing this in the right order but okay so we just manually submit that and then we can claim a reward a lot of people would go for the pan but um, at this moment we don't really have any use for the pan or the pick but um, eventually hopefully we can get a cobblestone generator up and running um, okay so getting equipped it is the uh, second one um, and off this we can do the other two, which that one looks like it may be some sort of um, s monster spawner of some sorts. Um, like in the first one, you got your stencil tables and stations and stuff. So um, let's make a crafting table. Get the second tier one. Um, we'll pop it there. We're going to need a crook, which is four sticks like in that sort of fashion now the crook is used if you've never played the first minecraft the crook is used to take off the leaves and give you saplings silkworms and apples etc um, without it the chances are pretty slim to none for getting anything okay that's our second one we'll just keep going on this just for a bit um, it's probably best to start expanding the base. This makes 
a little bit easier. So we'll get a bit more room so we can add an extra tree. Um, because once we start getting into the higher quests, we're going to need a lot more resources. Which means we're going to need more space, etc. And I don't even know how I was able to even go around. That's creepy. Um, okay, so let's get as many leaves as we can. Okay, that looks like enough. So, I'm also holding apples. That was one of the uh, rewards. And I'm pretty sure the book was as well. So, apparently I just got wood. Okay. So now we have to make some stencil tables and everything. Um, I'm trying to make a little bit more room just so we have somewhere to work. Cause, um, we're going to get to the point where we're not going to have any room at all even to build on. Okay, so we've got a little bit of room. always the best part about these games is just the grind but it's always worth it in the long run if you're um, quite an adventurous player you know that it in eventually it becomes worth you know constantly doing this over and over because there's no real point to cheating no not buttons why do I want buttons Oh, that was terrible. I just made a button. I can't even do anything with a button. Well, I have a button now. Okay, let's make another crook. Holding that shift, though. That's all what it's all about. Literally, you don't let go of it. Um... Yeah, in the first one, I decided to put walls around all the bases, just a bit of security. But I found that it's just wasting resources. So you know, it's it's a, bit, a little bit more about you know looking at your surroundings, just making sure that you've got you know a little bit of room now and then. But as I said, if you make if you use too many of your resources, you won't get anywhere. But you will have a lot of room though. That's terrible. Get rid of that. Get rid of that block. Oh my god. Um, okay, so right, so we've already made the crafting station, so it does pick up um, if you've or already made one, so you can manually detect. Um, so let's start making. Let's make some blank patterns. Um, okay, we'll make some of those. Make some sticks because we're gonna need them. So blank patterns are in this sort of fashion, so just two wooden planks and two sticks. Um, they can be uh, the other way as well. Um, it doesn't really matter, as long as they're diagonally from each other. And they make four. Now in, in the original, it only made one blank pattern, I'm pretty sure. Um, it's been a while since I played it. The uh, first one. So that's your blank patterns. So yeah, so it's made those. So let's make uh, the pattern chest. Now the the pattern the pattern chest, if it pops up there it is, um, is made with a blank pattern and a chest, so not too difficult. But whether or not we have the wood for it, yes we do. Okay, so that's your pattern chest. Um, let's pop it. What have we got here? Put it next to the other chest, I think. There we go. You put all your blank patterns in there. How lovely. Uh, a stencil table. Pretty sure. Yeah, it's the wooden, the oak wood plank. Um, and I think the tool station is just a log. No, it's a crafting station. Must be the pattern. Crafting station. I was right. 
Okay, so we'll get rid of that, make a crafting station. There we go, tool station. So now we're benchmarking. The sun went down really quickly. You probably noticed that I've got like 3.6 gigabytes of memory. Um, if you guys have actually have any problems with the loading up, you haven't got enough memory. Um, I did had a few problems trying to get this to work. Um, uh, this is with no resource packs on. Um, I will try and get a resource pack put on, but we'll um, just play for a bit of vanilla resource pack for the moment. Um, I found, you know, using the right um, Java bit version, I'm using 64, um, and um, there was a few little nit tricks that I had to uh, go around just to get this to run because it wasn't recognizing that I had um, a sufficient amount of RAM. Sounds a bit loud. Um, yeah. There we go. Yeah, I had, I had a handful of problems trying to get this to work. Um, it was a little bit frustrating. Um, if you guys do have problems, you know, um, you know, just post in the comments and we'll see if we can help you out with it. Um, I did find one thing, especially in the system files of the computer, it was only allowing 512 megabytes of RAM to be loaded into Java or at one time, so I had to end up deleting that profile, and after that it just, everything came good. Um, yeah, it's like a, just a little profile that limits the amount of RAM that's able to be used by a program or Java. So, okay, so we, oh, that's a long tree. Howard, we're gonna, we're losing hunger. Oh, it's gonna change over, right. Okay, so what are we up to? A stencil table. So stencil table is this one. So it's just a blank pattern and an oak wood plank. We could have done that before, but anyway. So that's a stencil table. We'll just plop it there. Um, probably like ripping your dick off. You'll be like, no, you're not supposed to do it like this. And I'm like, well, you know, I'm going to end up moving some of this stuff anyway later on. But for the moment, because we haven't got a lot of room. Once you get a little bit more room, you can, you know, expand everything. I used to have just like, you know, a tree farm in one area, growing certain trees, made it a little bit easier. Eventually you get things like harvesters and planters and stuff like that, which we'll look at, look at um, eventually um, after we've set up most of our base. And this crook is going to be one hit and it's going to be done. Oh well. Um, so we've got enough wood now to finish this quest. Okay, just plant another tree. So we have a silkworm, which is great, so that means we can go on to the next quest without hesitation. Um, okay, pipe builder. So your pipe builder, if I can find it. That one. So it's just the wooden plank. Uh, the, um, sorry, one wood and a blank pattern. So there it is. I guess you call it a trunk, but yeah, they just call it oak wood. Yeah, because these are your planks. That's your sticks. And sticks are just inevitable. Uh, pipe builder. Okay. So pipe builder. Again, dick ripping. It seems like a little L fashion kind of thing. Okay, so let's get some of this stuff. I have like th two of those books. Tinker's Weaponry, that's a new one. Uh, we'll look at that later. I'm not, I'll put the axe away. I'll keep some apples. I'll keep the worm. I'll get rid of some of these. I'm just making it so if I end up falling off the world, I don't want to have much on me. Um, it does happen. It happens to the best of us. Uh, okay, right. Done. 
Let's do a tool. So flint axe head. Okay, so for this, I know this one off by heart. You need one flint and one stick. Um, yeah, that's all right. I just need to make more sticks and some more planks. Okay, so I let's get a few more of those because I know I'm going to need them. Okay, in here, um, they altered the uh, stencil before in the pre in the first one you had to click via page here um, to get your stencil, but now they've made it into this little nice little outlay. Um, I'm not sure that looks like a f that's an arrowhead, right? And it looks like a tapeworm, lovely. So axe head pattern, uh, and for the um, the handle, we don't actually need anything apart from a stick. So we'll go over to the part builder, put the axe head pattern in and our flint, and it gives us the flint axe head. Cool. And we'll put our pattern in the pattern chest, come back to the tool station, click on the hatchet, put in both of our pieces, and we'll call it flinty. I don't know why. <laughs> Okay, so now we have Flinty. So that's done.